Get ready to feel the buzz. It's buzz. Introducing the champion from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 318 pounds, he is the Buzz was a three-sport athlete in high school. He's going to need every bit of his Brian athletic ability to prevail Scott. tonight. I didn't realize they gave out varsity letters for whining, taking shortcuts, and failing upwards. And introducing the champion, residing in Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, The Miz! Go ahead, Corey, tell us all! about The Miz. The Miz is the man who single-handedly turned SmackDown from the B-Show to the show A star of stage, screen, reality television. Is there anything The Miz hasn't done? Did The Miz pay you to say all that, Corey? Absolutely not, Byron Saxton. I happen to be a hopeful for a consideration for a Mizzy this year. Really? That's right. Mizzy? Oh, come on. That would be awesome, Corey. That would be ridiculous. Where would you put it? On my mantle with my most prized possessions. Why are you encouraging him, Michael? I would love to have him in. Buzz's title and the Intercontinental title are on the line tonight in a steel cage match at WWE Hell in a Cell. Buzz has everything to gain and nothing to lose. His made-up title is absolutely meaningless. If that's true, then why did Miz issue the challenge? Because, like most of us, he was tired of Buzz's antics and thought this would shut him up for once and for all. Little did he know that thanks to our wonderful GM, he'd have to compete under Buzz's ridiculous rules. Well, none of this would have happened if Miz hadn't weaseled his way out of an intercontinental title defense. Nonetheless, that's all history, and certainly more history will be made tonight. Not looking good for the champ here. He comes into this championship match with a full tank of gas and ready for a fight. Hey, you and I both know he's double tall. He's not going to let something like this stop him from winning the steel cage match. Walking around the city earlier today, guys, the only thing anybody was talking about was this title match. Everywhere I went, from the coffee shop to the bookstore, everybody was talking about this match. He's not going to like this. Stay down, man. Byron, I had a similar experience as you this morning. Nearly every person at the gym I went to was talking about this title match, and rightfully so. This is an absolutely huge match. Okay, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. Byron spent the morning at the bookstore while you, Cole, went to the gym. Matt. That's brilliant. You guys have any other jokes? Nail it. Oh. 
Oh, man, The Miz is in trouble. As we say in the trade, guys, the monitor area in the locker room is likely sold out for this one, as there are plenty of superstars with a vested interest in the outcome of this match. What's he going to do with it? Watch this here. Oh, here we go. To Byron's point, there are several competitors on the roster who can make a case for being the next in line for a title opportunity. However, a lot of that, of course, depends on the outcome of this match here tonight. Well, with that in mind, oh, regardless of their personal feelings, you'd have to think the locker room is rooting for the champion here tonight. The last thing they want to do is to have to wait even longer while the champ's rematch clause kicks in. Obviously a great opportunity here for the champ. Uh-oh, uh-oh. A long way up. Slammed down hard. And the odds just swung in Buzz's favor. The Miz's chances just went from bad to worse. An impactful slam. And gentlemen, the Miz may be fading away here. There may be no coming back from this. To follow up Byron's earlier, what does Buzz have in store? We're, We're going to attitude adjustment. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Talk about getting the history books. We'll have to wait another day. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. Still can't believe I get paid to watch this amazing action. You're looking at the first ever superstar to simultaneously hold the Intercontinental title and for lack of a better term, the Buzz title. Yeah, his carry-on bag just got a little bit heavier. Yeah, if I were the Miz, I, this match would be under protest. It should have never taken place under these rules. Well, it did, and now we have a new champion. You can protest all you want, but it's not going to change what happened. You did it. You finally shut up The Miz. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I did beat him and take his Intercontinental title. That's good enough. <laughs> Thanks for helping me along the way. We make a pretty good team out there. We did. <laughs> if you ever need someone to dress up in a ridiculous costume to send a message to one of your opponents, I'm your guy. I'll remember that. <laughs> hey, Sasha, you mind if I have a moment to talk business with the champ? Yeah, no problem. I was thinking about calling myself Champ Squared, actually. You know. Yeah, about that. Not to put a damper on your big victory, but according to WWE regulations, you're only allowed to hold one singles title at a time. I could try to circumvent the rules and let you hold both, but Triple H would just force you to vacate one anyway. You really know how to ruin a party. I'm sorry. So which title would you like to keep? That had to be a tough decision. If it's any consolation, I'll give you the rest of the night to celebrate with both championships. Thanks.